Hi, I'm John Earnshaw from PyDataMetrics and this is our Tech Talk. PyDataMetrics software enables you to understand and visualize online commercial opportunity as well as potential against the backdrop of your entire market landscape. The insight revealed by the platform is as a home in a boardroom as it is with the search team. Pi Platform is your go-to software for tactical wins and risk mitigation, while Pi Market Intelligence enables you to build strategy with value-led search opportunities. I'm the Chief Product Evangelist at Pi, and as one of the founders, I've been here since the very start. My role involves listening to customers, understanding the challenges they face, and working with the product team to ensure that Pi helps them to meet those challenges. I spend a lot of time staying close to the, all the latest search engine algorithm updates, as well as analyzing the constantly changing search results landscape to understand the best ways to respond to these dynamics. So what problem do we solve? Well, right now, the ability for your business to grow its online share of voice and to be consistently visible at the top of the search engine results is not only more important than ever, but without the right level of intelligence and insight, it's practically impossible. So what's preventing you? Well, it could be that you haven't got your content strategy right. This can result in significant lost revenue. It could be that Google's algorithms are negatively impacting your performance. Perhaps competitors are simply outperforming you and you can't understand why. Or you may not have the granular understanding of the search landscape and all of its new features to really get inside the mind of your customers to understand what they're looking for. Whatever it is that's preventing you from achieving your targets, these are just some of the problems that Pi helps you solve. Okay, let me show you an example. We're looking at several challenges here. It's predicted that global content marketing spend is set to reach $300 billion by 2021. And the problem is that so much of this spend, particularly when it comes to online content, is being wasted. And as a result, businesses simply don't perform as well as they might. If we look at these top performers in women's wear, our data reveals that those businesses sitting below the fold are currently missing out on over 4 million in revenues per week. Looking more closely, on the left here, we can see for one of those highlighted businesses, the significant opportunity in terms of revenue that's currently being missed. And over 70% of this is due to cannibalization, something that's easy to fix. On the right, those same businesses are seeing huge rises or falls in share of voice, thanks to Google's algorithm updates. Without the right data, you're simply not in control of your performance. Okay, it's time to talk about our technology. Pi Data Metrics has been designed from the ground up to help solve the problems that result in such missed opportunities. And at Pi, we talk about value. Search data is no longer confined to the realms of the SEO team. It's far too valuable and insightful for that. We are democratizing search data so that it can be used throughout the business from the strategic right the way down to the technical. We're supporting big businesses with their decisions with SEO software that spans all search dimensions. Take Pi Market Intelligence. This showcases every single competitor for any consumer search you can think of, not those just already on your radar, giving you the most comprehensive pool of consumer insight on the market. From content strategy to business-wide trading, market intelligence enables you to inform the whole company with performance, share of voice, and profit-led trend insights. And importantly, you can instantly and clearly visualize revenue opportunities category by category. Okay, let's take a closer look at Pi Data Metrics. In a nutshell, at Pi Data Metrics, we have a team of around 60 while the software platform itself is only a few years old, we've actually been collecting search data for well over 15 years now, giving us one of the largest and most comprehensive data sets on the market. We work with over 50 major brands, have offices around the world, and have over 3,500 active users. So what type of customers does our technology serve? Okay, a wide range of companies use Pi's technology in multiple ways to inform their business decisions. Okay, this includes the likes of Tesco, The Telegraph, 
um, IG Group, Vodafone, Harrods, Lululemon, and many, many others. We've got big businesses using Pi as a damage mitigation tool, supporting complex global migrations. And we've got others using the insight to size up competitors, as well as new market opportunities. On a tactical level, we've got publishers using Pi on a daily basis, hourly, weekly, and monthly, to better understand the search landscape and the true intent of their readers. Those same customers use Pi to make super well-informed decisions on content strategy, as well as page level and site-wide contextual optimization. We've got big high street retailers using the platform to significantly improve the performance of their online content and the visibility of their products through the automated discovery and prevention of content conflict or cannibalization. This alone puts them at a significant advantage over their competitors. And we've got major parent brands monitoring, comparing the commercial visibility of their entire online ecosystem. So how do we solve these problems? Well, as we explored earlier, one of the biggest problems that constantly results in missed revenue opportunities is content cannibalization or internal conflict. The first step that most people struggle with is knowing they're suffering from it in the first place because they lack the data. The simple truth is that businesses are spending billions every year on online content and a significant amount of that money is being wasted because it's not being consumed. And the reason it's not being consumed is because it's, well, it's because current approaches to content publication and curation simply aren't working. If you're not using search data to inform content strategy, then there's a good chance you're throwing money away. Now, we solve that problem and that's one of many through the identification of quick win revenue opportunities currently missed. Pi makes it super easy to identify these opportunities, fix the basic issues causing them, and to prevent them from happening in the first place. So what's different about our technology? What gives us the edge? Well, one of the most powerful features of the Pi platform is its global competitor data. Now what this means is that you have the ability to analyze your performance alongside every other rival across the entire search landscape. Pi provides one of the largest scopes of competitor data on the market. Unlike other solutions, which often require you to name your known competitors, Pi Market Intelligence will reveal to you who your true competitors are across the entire search landscape and from content strategy to business-wide trading, you can inform the whole company with visualizations of commercial performance, share of voice opportunity, and profit-led trend insights. And on a more granular level, Pi is one of the only platforms out there to track in four different time frequencies. That's every two hours, for when you need to monitor a rapidly changing search landscape, such as during a new product launch, daily, essential if your SEO team wants to stay ahead of the game, and weekly or monthly to help you report on your objectives. Finally, Pi tracks every feature that appears in the search landscape, and this is important from video and images through to people also ask and answer cards, which is invaluable when it comes to planning your content strategy and getting inside the mind of your customers. Okay, it's time for a demonstration. A good place to begin is at the MI level, where you can see your share of voice over time. Scrolling down, you can visualize the market leaders and where you sit, quickly exploring performance versus competitors category by category. Next, we reveal the revenue opportunity. Again, it's super easy to drill down to subcategory level to reveal the value of content just off page one. In this chart, you can see the impact that a recent Google Algo update has had on your competitors, both positive and negative. Here, the automated conflict detector report reveals a significant revenue opportunity. Next, we've identified the content sitting on pages two and three of Google. The search volumes are huge. This chart further reveals the problem. Multiple URL changes for big money terms. Google is confused. Finally, 
Having discovered what's wrong, we can save this as an actionable insight to be shared with the team. Many of the key features that customers use are accessible from this tool stack on the left here. Let's take a look at some of the more unique ones. The SERP radar provides an unrivaled view of the SERP landscape from a feature perspective, showing what's important category by category, in this case, videos and answer cards. Moving on to the matrix, this unique view really helps you understand customer intent on a keyword by keyword basis, ensuring you produce the right type of content. Finally, the SERP Explorer table really helps you to understand how your content performs from a feature perspective. This level of insight is critical and will save a lot of wasted effort and money. We often get asked for specific customer success stories. Now, we have a lot of customers to significantly improve their online performance. And one that springs to mind has integrated the platform into their daily workflow super successfully, using it to inform tactical and strategic decisions on a content as well as optimization level. So being able to get a better understanding of the customer intent in real time and react with the right type of content at the right time in a way that avoids conflict in the first place has enabled them to achieve 80% year-on-year improvements in performance. So what's the expected impact on a typical customer? Well, the first thing you're going to immediately benefit from is a really clear understanding of what your organic share of voice is and who your competitors really are. And often this comes as a surprise as they're not always who you think they are. Next, you're gonna reveal your immediate revenue opportunities and discover the content wherever it exists within your online ecosystem that's not performing as well as it might be. And there could be any number of reasons for this. And you'll be able to immediately reveal and share insights with relevant teams within the business, highlighting what's not working so well, and then to provide intelligence-based recommendations to improve performance. You're also likely to see improvements in share of voice, traffic, and revenue in a very short space of time. So I often get asked if there are any integration limitations or areas that we don't specialize in. Well, simple answer. As we're a cloud-based solution, straight out of the box, there's absolutely no integration required. All you need is access to a web browser. Now, as well as an API that all our customers have access to, we also have PySync. This is a powerful add-on product that allows for teams to move their Py data to a data warehouse, allowing you to integrate with other data and from there analyze, transform, and visualize. Its goal is to be one less obstacle to achieve a marketing reporting stack that includes all channel data. Okay, so where do we sit in the MarTech stack? Let's take a look. PyData Metrics is a consumer search intelligence tool that fits into the content and experience part of your MarTech stack. Often, Py will be part of your SEO or marketing budget. However, Py's intelligence has the power to inform strategy across the business in teams far beyond search. For example, M&A teams may use Pi's vast competitor data to identify new partnerships, while merchandising teams might study Pi MI consumer trends to know when to invest in certain stock. So what about pricing, onboarding, and timing of adoption? Okay, the pricing model for Pi Data Metrics is very simple. It's based on a license fee, and an amount dependent upon the number of queries made. For this, you get unlimited domain tracking and unlimited user licenses. In-app reporting, onboarding, and training are all included at no extra cost. And when it comes to onboarding, you're typically looking at a four-week timeline. Week one, that's all about preparation, including account configuration and a kickoff meeting. Week two, that's all about training tailored to your use case, designed to get you up and running and discovering and saving insights as quickly as possible, really getting the benefit out of the platform. In week three, there's normally gonna be a checkpoint meeting along with follow-up training sessions. And in week four, an onboarding review is gonna take place, again, with any follow-up training sessions as required. Thanks for watching.